guys, it's now Saturday. I forgot to update you yesterday again. So it's day six of the unicorn read. So I uh, went for a run this morning and I did a couple of exercises. I've had a shower and now I'm gonna get some, go and buy some breakfast and I'll be ready to start my read your face off. <laughs> 24-hour readathon that starts at 9 a.m. It's now 10 minutes to 9, so I'll be a little late, but at least I'm almost ready. I'm hoping that I'll be able to read a lot today for the Unicorn Readathon, so I think that this readathon will really be helpful. Is it wrong shutting the sunlight out? <coughs> when the sun is all suddenly here. Oh, yeah. Um, as I said before in my quick update, I was gonna go get some breakfast and that what that's what I've had now so I'm 20 minutes into uh, read your face off and I haven't started reading started reading but I'm gonna start out light as I usually do with these types of readathons and go with a graphic novel I think I'm gonna start out with monstrous volume 2 because it's the shortest and it has really beautiful artwork so I'm really looking forward to this and hopefully I like this better than the first novel volume whatever it's called um, but if not else it's really beautiful artwork so I can appreciate that but I'll get back to you once I finish it and how much time I've been reading hi guys this is my second update of the read your face of readathon and my unicorn readathon reading this weekend I'm just now that the sun is not directly into my room I have decided to Get some light in. It's nice. Finally. Anyway, it's now quarter to one. We're four hours into the readathon, and I have only managed to finish Monstrous, which I will show you. Monstrous Volume Two, um, which I really enjoyed. It's de definitely better than the first one. I feel like um, now that the characters have been introduced and the world and stuff, that it could. Get a little more plot going. Um, I still don't think that is my favorite graphic novel series of all time, but I really enjoy the artwork and the story is progressing in an interesting way. Um, if you don't know, this uh, series follows this girl who is possessed by a monster and she's trying to deal with that, not eating other people and sort of trying to fight all the time the monster inside her. And then there's all of these extra little side characters that are... Um, there's a half-human, half-fox character, and then there's a cat who's a necromancer. And they're just really interesting characters. I really like the fox girl, and I was really like um, their necromancer cat. And it definitely it's definitely very interesting, and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Now, I've just been to the store, to the grocery store, to get some stuff, some snacks, some things for dinner so that I could easily make dinner without having to think too much and having to spend much time actually making stuff, making dinner. And I got my iced coffee. It's actually really, really nice weather outside. It's supposed to become really, really great weather, weather over the next week. Um, I think they said that it was supposed to rain today. Um, but maybe it was raining tonight, that last night, and then that's it. It's definitely really warm outside. I think it's about close to 20 degrees outside. So I had way too much clothes on because I was wearing my summer jacket and I have this sweatshirt on because I was thinking that it was going to be a little cold. It was not very warm when I was out running this morning. Um, but things changes. So iced coffee it is today. Mm. I like these. I started getting them plain because I actually think this tastes better. I feel like the vanilla ones are a little too sweet for me. Maybe it's because my ca I'm more in need for caffeine these days than I've been before. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you my reading look. Just sort of show you how it's gonna be looking for me today. So this is my reading look. Uh, I just sit on my chaise here. Um, I have my computer on the side right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have it on at all. Maybe I will because I'll be on social media and stuff. And this are these are my treats <laughs> for the day. 
I just bought a couple of different uh, sort of um, chips and stuff, and then I have a couple, a bag of candy, <laughs> muesli uh, bar thing, <laughs> and this chocolate, ooh, chocolate thing. Um, I didn't get too much. I also have uh, some grapes and blueberries. So I do have a little bit of healthy stuff and I'm gonna get a salad for lunch so that I don't get all kinds of unhealthy but it's nice to have something to snack on while I'm reading. And obviously right now I'm drinking my coffee but I also got some cola so that I can get that later. Because if it's the weekend usually I only get water water over the day. And now my next read uh, will be now my next read that I'll pick up is going to be Baron and Nightingale. I'd like to finish that. Um, I don't know if it will be able to work for the Unicorn Readathon because it does have some spiritual things. But I don't know if it works. But I'm really getting interested in it. It's really dark and it's something happened when I read it this mo part of it this morning. So I really want to get back to it and finish it because I ha it, it expires tomorrow. So I need to finish. I want to finish it today because I don't know at what time tomorrow. So I have about I'm sixty seventy percent through it now, and in ebook form I have about hundred. I'm on page 292 of 419. Um, but the ebook, no, not the ebook, the uh, paperback edition, that's the most common one, is 323 pages. And it said yesterday when I was checking up on it, it was about 116 pages when I was at 64%. So a little less now. I, I presume I'm at about. about 100 pages or something I have left and I should definitely be able to finish that pretty fast uh, Especially if it gets really intense. So that's my next move and I have been right. I've been doing a rant I've been listening to Red Sister. I'm now halfway through it. I was at 46% So I only listened to like 4% but yeah, I feel like it's really really a good story um, But I don't think it works for the unicorn readathon, but this was my update for now I just read for another 45 minutes, but now I'm starving, so I'm gonna get my lunch, which was perfect because I wanted to just have a sm short reading time and then I'll be wanted to get something to eat. So that, yeah, so it works really well. Um, but how, how do you keep track of your reading when you're doing these sort of things? Oh, not your tra track of reading, but how do you keep yourself motivated? What do you? What works for you because right now there's no one's no sprint sessions and stuff because it's the middle of the night and Riley is sleeping <laughs> and I th or wherever she is I think I think she may start in an hour actually if I have my collect correction my if I have my calculation correct <laughs> I can't speak right now um because I believe. She's six hours ahead of me. No, behind. I'm a six six hours ahead of her. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to. I bought a finished salad, so that was easy. I like these convenience products, just as long as I don't get them very often because they're really expensive. But for occasions like this, it's nice that I can just buy something and have it done immediately. So that is what I'm gonna be prepping right now. But what I'm doing is that I set a timer. Um, I've been setting a timer to first the first book. I set a timer of 45 minutes, and then because I wasn't finished, I set another 15 minutes, and then another half an hour or something like that, um, just to keep track of how much time I spent on one book. And uh, right now, that's what I did as well. I just set my timer to 45 minutes, and then I'll be reading non-stop for those 45 minutes and that is what I'm gonna do the rest of the day as well uh, hopefully and hopefully I'll stay not tired so that I can keep doing that without falling asleep uh, but it's, it's been working well so far but it's early in the day so yeah I'm gonna do, make my lunch right now so see you later hi the time is now 
6.30 p.m. <laughs> and I finished Bear in the Night in Gale by Catherine Arden. I really enjoyed it. It was a really great book. I think I'm ending up on a 4.5 stars. I think the ending was amazing. Like the last... Yeah, everything I read today and a little bit more than that uh, has been really, really crazy and intense and such a fast read the last couple of pages then afterwards i also started in on oh, my favorite thing is monsters oh this chunky book it's really really heavy uh but i think i'm allowed about 40 pages into it it's really slow <laughs> so i don't know if it's something i will um read i will may might be reading a little bit in it instead like every here and there here and there and we'll see how it goes but i've also been reading something from vision and silver um which is also pretty slow <laughs> i'm on page 172 now so i read 40 about 40 pages and it's it's good uh, but not my favorite in the series for sure. Um, I don't know where I'm going to end up with this one, but I'm enjoying it for the most part. And there's definitely some interesting things that has happened, but it's, um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, right now I need a break from reading, which I know is not the point of this, but I need a break. Just something else. I'll get back to reading later, I think. We'll see. The most important thing is to get a lot of reading in. And so far, I am an, I may have read about 350 pages today. So I feel like it's okay so far. And I finished two books. And I think that Baron the Nightingale will definitely work for the Unicorn Readathon as well. So I decided to put it on, even though I had read most of it going into this uh, week's reading but i'm definitely counting the pages but with this was my update for now see you later hi guys it is now midnight i think i haven't read anything since i last talked to you um it's not i haven't had any desire to read i've been feeling a little off all day or oh, well not all day just since around five ish so I ended up just watching some TV instead so yeah that's what I've been doing yeah as I said I don't have any desire to read any of the books that I have on my plate yeah I don't know now I'm gonna go to bed I'm not even super tired I just <laughs> felt like that's what I do um, and then we'll see so this is a failure. Do you ever have those days where if you feel like you should be reading and you sort of want to but you don't want to anyway? I don't know what to do tomorrow. I have some chores to do because I didn't do them today. So that's a thing. But I'm gonna go to bed now. We'll see if I finish something tomorrow. I don't think so. But there is about nine hours left of the readathon but i don't know i mean now now it's left of read your face of readathon i do have an entire day left for the unicorn readathon but we'll see if i manage to get more in tomorrow i think i'm gonna go and spend some time with some people other people maybe that's why i'm feeling off today because i haven't had much of a social interaction <laughs> Um, and sometimes that's just weird when you get to uh, some parts of the day and you haven't had talked to anyone all day. It's a little strange. Tomorrow is definitely going to be some social stuff, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hi. It is now 7 a.m in the morning and 
So there's two hours left of Read Your Face Up, and I'm gonna be reading in Kings of the Wild for the next two hours or something. I am gonna get up now and sit in the living room because this is not the proper way to, to read, I think. Um, but I'll update you later on how much I read for the next two hours. Hi guys. So this will be my final update for the Unicorn Readathon as well as my Read Your Face Up wrap up thing. Um, first up, uh, I forgot to let you know how I did for the Read Your Face Up. Um, when time struck nine, uh, I actually only read for that for an hour, like from seven to eight. I sh you could and should have probably read up until nine, but I was watching uh, Formula One, so it started at eight past no ten past eight. That's what I want to say. Um, and it was okay. Not the best race, but it was okay. Uh, I didn't finish any more books, so that's not super surprising to me. I did read, I think, 46 pages in that hour. So, yeah, I ended up finishing two things for the Read Your Face Up, which is better than nothing. And all in all, I'd say three things work for the Unicorn Readathon, so okay, it's fine. I also made some progress in two books, so that is fine. Right now, I'm waiting for my Vita video to upload onto YouTube, which it was has taken me quite a while. Today, I've caught up on some TV shows. That's what I've been doing. So I watched um, the first. Most recent episodes of Timeless, season two. Um, I think I watched it last. I found that they started to get it onto one of my streaming services, so I'm really happy about that. Because it's difficult and annoying having to watch it when it's not completely legal. <laughs> um, but it's also annoying waiting and waiting and waiting until they put it on Danish television. So... I don't understand why Fox doesn't, yeah, just sell their stuff to the international TV stations as well, so they can put it up. Um, I also watched the first episode of the new season of New Girl today, which was exciting, except, yeah, I it was nice to see it again. I, I've been waiting, um impatiently I don't know what to say since I first discovered new girl in September which is not very far which is not very long ago <laughs> when I binge watched the six seasons um but yeah I had to watch that online and that was not good so I hope that it will come on to one of my streaming services as well but since it's Fox I don't think that it will come on to Netflix for sure. So we'll see if it comes on to Via Play, which is my other streaming service that I have. Because I don't think any TV I don't think any TV stations in Denmark has bought the rights to it. Sadly. So yeah, final season of that. Um I've yeah, otherwise I haven't been doing very much and I'm going to end this vlog now before I start rambling too much. Um, but this was fun. I had a fun time participating whether I read a lot or not. Um, hopefully next time I participate I won't be swamped with having to upload so many videos. <laughs> Vida is such a challenge. I'm not going to do it again, I think. But I'm halfway through now. Only 15 days to go. Anyway, this was all I had for you this time. I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Goodbye. Actually, you'll see me in a video tomorrow, so I'll see you later.